Types of Cameras In this lesson, we are going to discuss the different types of cameras provided in 3DS Max 9. As we saw earlier, there are two main types of cameras. They are free cameras and target cameras. So let's see them one by one. Free camera has a single icon to move, and that is camera only. Let's see this with an example. For our convenience, I've already placed some scene here. So let's place free camera first. Select free camera from the camera list, which is under the create panel. Once the camera is selected, click on the left viewport. Since free camera doesn't have a target, only the camera is visible. Select any viewport and hit the letter C. The selected viewport will be changed to the camera viewport. Now it's time to adjust the camera placement. We can easily move and rotate a free camera using the Select and Move and Select and Rotate tools from the toolbar. Let's try to adjust the camera placement using these tools. Go to the Modify panel to adjust the lens and focal length. You can see a live preview in the camera viewport. Hey, now it's fine. It's looking great. Let's see how rendered output will look. Select Camera Viewport and press F9, or click the Quick Render button. This is the final output. Okay, now come out of that and let's try the target camera. Just select Camera and hit Delete. The camera viewport is automatically changed to the perspective viewport. To change it to the top viewport, press the letter T. Press Z to zoom extent all. Now, Select the target camera from the camera list, which is under the Create panel. Now click and drag to place the target point in the left viewport. Select the top viewport and hit C in order to activate the camera viewport. As you can see here, the camera placement is not proper. Adjust the camera using the Select and Move and Select and Rotate tools from the toolbar. Go to the Modify panel to adjust the lens and focal length. You can see a live preview in the camera viewport. Once you're satisfied, select the camera viewport. Hit F9 or click the Quick Render button from the toolbar. Wow, this is the camera view of the object. Isn't it good? So, from now on, place a camera and give a perspective view of your object.